that's how you do that. All right, so I'm I'm going ahead and um, loading up my lines. They thought I'd throw this in real quick. They um I mark them with these zip ties, so I know exactly which one's which. I got one on one, two on two, and three on three. Just to keep things real simple, you know. I just I use zip ties to mark them because they're slightly different lengths not slightly but they're different lengths and stuff so that way I you know I know exactly what's going on which way which one I'm laying out first second and third because I've got everything down to a you know there's a certain way I do things I'm definitely gonna have some strong winds to contend with today not too strong, I hope, and it's coming from south-southwest. I always do a little bit better, it feels like, when I get some south-southwest wind. The last time I had um, south-southwest wind, freaking stupid engine broke down, and I was all messed up. I um, I went ahead and took that outboard to a mechanic yesterday, my other one. And the freaking fuel bowl and the carburetor was loose. It just loosened up, you know, after years of being used. Uh, used. So I just left it with him to, um, you know, go ahead and, because it would take me a long time to pull that thing off, tighten that thing up, and put it back together. So he's going to go ahead and, you know, kick it out real quick. He's a mercury mechanic. He's got years and years and years of experience. He's really ridiculously good. Like, he just... He figured out what was wrong within like two seconds of looking at it and talking to me, so. One little trick I use for offloading this is after I unclip it, I go ahead and I take, you know, it's, it's loose, this is free. <clears throat> I've got my bow knot, I got a little uh, knot, I got a little knot in it my bow rope clip that in there and then I just put it in and then what happens is once I stop the boat just goes off and then you know I still got that rope and and what have you pretty nice kinda hop out jump in the water I mean you know if you do stop fast it kind of pulls that out like that and then just take it and you know tie up somewhere or something or you can just throw it on the, somewhere I don't know wind will usually make it lay where it needs to go so And of course it did not do that today because there's like no wind. But, I don't know. It should go over there by the time I got the truck parked. And as you can see it went perfectly over here. Like I thought it would. And of course there's nobody down here because it's freaking 1 o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and get her fired up and get out there got a long ride today to get to my spots
is why it's hard to try line dealing with engines from the 80s. So it's not even time to start crabbing yet, and I already owe somebody an amend. See, what happened was, like two weeks ago, me and S. Sandy S's came out, and we were getting ready to launch our boat, and this guy, he, you know, he just like rolled up in there, I ain't never seen him before, like put his boat in real quick, and like, you know, left real quick, and on his way, you know, as he left, he hit his fender on the, like the edge of the pier, and it broke, and it was like sliding on the ground, and I mean, it's early, people don't realize stuff. And this morning he came up and he asked me if I did it. And I, you know, and I, I totally kind of flipped out a little bit on him. Like, you know, because I saw exactly what happened. And I kind of thought that he was, you know, he was trying to pull some bull crap, you know? Like some schizoid, make people paranoid, freaking dumb little kid, messed up crap that we do not need in this country. And that's ruining and destroying this country. So, you know, I flipped out, but, you know, I mean, he could have, you know, it was early. He could have really not realized that he hit his fender. So, I mean, I don't know. I should have thought it out a little bit before I just immediately jumped on the defensive. Like, you know, like, you, <laughs> he might not have known. So now I feel bad and I got to apologize. So, you know, I, if I see him, I'll apologize. And, you know, if I don't... You know, if he's watching this, then, you know, I'm sorry I was wrong. What can I do to make it better? All right, run number one, one crab. Nice and rock hard, so that's good. All right, it's 5.30. I just got my first round done, and I caught two crabs. But it's exactly dead low tide, so I'm not too concerned. I took everything real slow, and yeah. Oh, and I forgot my freaking sunglasses, which is like horrible. It's just been one of them freaking mornings. I laid one of my lines, the end of it wrong. I had to adjust that. I'll tell you, it's just one of them mornings. But, you know, I'm going to go ahead and see if that Sandy S will bring me my sunglasses. Somehow, I'll figure something out. I got to have them. I was kind of hoping it will be overcast, but I don't know. I was going to take it real slow and, you know, hopefully this tide will start rolling and the crabs will start rolling too. That's how you do that. This little knob right here kept moving. So I had to use a stick and zip ties and go around the carburetor to keep it from moving. So I think I can think of. I think I got it now so the quick cut now and what have you. And shout out to the postman. Seven o'clock. S. Sandy S. has brought me my um my glasses. That run I got. 
Got seven on that one, so that's good. I think I got this engine worked out. I haven't run this since I had to mess with it because that freaking idiot was sitting there waiting to blame me for something his dumbass did. So, you know, I was laying this out while he's sitting there like a freaking idiot and it, like, it, it messed me up. So, you know, that's why, you know, people need to learn how to work the water themselves. Worry about what they're doing. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Freaking noobs. But anyway, all right, I'm getting ready to get on this line. This thing's laid all wrong. I know I got it too tight now because I was messing with it before I went in to get my glasses. I ain't got it laid right. That stupid commercial chicken necker. God, that makes me mad. See that glare? That's why I had to have my sunglasses. I wouldn't be able to see nothing. If I run this the other way, I got that shadow. a lot better at least it's not cutting out
Here it comes. Probably be bigger than that. Here it comes. Can we get a twofer? Nope. Okay. Second that Sandy S is pulled off to give me my sunglasses. She was with me when the guy freaking, you know, he's pulling out and he busted his um, fender on the freaking uh, the dock, the finger pier, the edge of the boat ramp. First thing she says is there's that idiot's truck who hit his fender on the who broke his fender on the boat ramp. She was standing right there with me when it happened. I'll tell you what. It always seems like on these crazy hectic days. For some reason, it's when you get on them. I don't know. I mean, there, I know there's more out there than here. You know, I mean, if they're out there and they're catching them, and they're not catching them, they just really don't know what they're doing. The only reason I crab up here is because this boat's piece of crap and it's little. And I'd much rather be out there. I used to be out there when I had a bigger boat. But you know, I did a lot better, you know? But anyway, that was a pretty good one. Well, I think I got it. Probably over a half fast on the boat now. That's good. 40. I got two on that one. The freaking button got stuck on my freaking bait. I mean, I I guess it's trash. Something. It's really hot. So I got my back up here. Thank God I got that thing. All right, just the moon cycles. These crabs are a lot muddier. See, they're a lot muddier crabs. You know, a little bit different. Probably a little bit harder than what I've been getting. But yeah, it's definitely a little bit different. But these are nice muddy mud crabs ready for the pot. All right, it's nine o'clock, and I got my first bushel. Getting ready to go ahead and throw a top on it. I mean, these crabs are definitely better. Best I've seen.
And that's why I try to grab good baskets, but... Alright, time to get the next one. Okay, it's 10, 18, got about another hour of um, until the tide stops moving. All together, I got about a basket and a half. I'm still doing, I pulled one line in, I still got two out. On these two, I'm still catching like three on each one, roughly, so it's worth staying for. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, you know, call those into there and keep running them. All right, it's 11, 12, and I ended up with my best day yet. Got one basket there. Got three quarters of a basket there. So, best day yet. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.